February 2024, Polish Defense Ministry Final Procurement Briefing. Two timeline projections displayed side by side. Lockheed Martin F-35, contract signature, 2024. First Operational Squadron, 2032. Eight-year wait. Saab Gripen, contract signature, 2024. First Operational Squadron, 2027. Three-year wait. Polish Air Force Commander General Irinos Nowak stands, addresses Defense Minister directly. His statement, leaked to media weeks later, stops the room. Minister, we face Russian threat today. Not in 2032. Eight-year wait means defending Poland with Soviet-era MiG-29s until I'm retired. Three-year wait means modern capability while I still command. This isn't procurement preference. This is whether Poland can defend itself during the actual threat period. Gripen delivers five years faster. That's five years we're either vulnerable or protected. I recommend Gripen. Senior military commander publicly recommending against F-35 based purely on timeline. Unprecedented. Welcome to the procurement comparison Pentagon desperately doesn't want NATO making, where side-by-side -side timeline analysis reveals Lockheed's six to eight year delivery can't compete with Saab's three-year timeline. Here's what the numbers prove. F-35 averages 72 to 96 months signature to operational. Gripen averages 30 to 36 months. That's not marginal. That's five years of either having capability or waiting vulnerably. And here's the smoking gun. Internal Pentagon assessment from November 2024, leaked after whistleblower resignation, concluded, if NATO prioritizes delivery timeline equally with capability, F-35 loses 60 to 70% of competitive evaluations. Translation, when timeline matters, we lose most competition. Let me show you that leaked Pentagon assessment proving they know they can't compete on timeline, why Lockheed structurally cannot accelerate, the Polish commander whose testimony changed procurement forever, and the 90-day NATO cascade nobody anticipated. Because when adversaries threaten now, not 2032, timeline stops being preference and becomes survival. The leaked assessment proving Pentagon knows they're losing, November 2024. Pentagon's Defense Security Cooperation Agency completes internal study. Competitive Timeline Analysis F-35 Export Vulnerability Study December 2024 Senior DSCA Analyst Thomas Corrigan resigns after 17 years. Exit Interview Later leaked, I was told to manage assessment conclusions to minimize timeline vulnerability discussion. I won't falsify analysis to protect Lockheed's export market. Resigning on principle. January 2025, Corrigan's final assessment leaks to Defense News, the findings that triggered his resignation. Procurement factor, waiting trends. NATO procurement official survey. Timeline weighted 15 to 20% traditionally. Recent shift, 30 to 40% in threat-driven evaluations. Poland. Romania, Bulgaria, timeline potentially weighted 40 to 50%, trend accelerating as eastern flank threat perception intensifies. Pentagon discovering NATO increasingly prioritizes timeline as Russian threat grows. Page 12, direct timeline comparison, Saab Gripen, 30 to 36 month average contract to IOC, FA 35, 72 to 96 month average, timeline disadvantage, 42 to 66 months. In evaluations waiting timeline greater than or equal to 40%, F-35 timeline disadvantage creates insurmountable competitive gap. Pentagon's own analysis. When timeline matters equally with capability, we lose. Page 15. Market Impact Projection. If timeline becomes co-primary evaluation factor across NATO, F-35 competitive win rate decreases from 75 to 80% to 20 to 30 percent. Export revenue impact 2025 to 2030, 28 to 35 billion dollars loss. Page 22, the conclusion that triggered resignation, production expansion, four to five years minimum, Q restructuring, legally complex, diplomatically explosive. Reality, no viable short-term solution. F-35 will continue losing timeline-sensitive competition. Recommendation, accept market segment loss or restructure entire production model, politically and contractually, untenable. Corrigan was told to rewrite that conclusion, refused, resigned, leaked the original. When NATO procurement officials read Pentagon's own admission, timeline is vulnerability we cannot fix. Evaluation calculus changes permanently. By the way, if you're learning how leaked assessments expose strategic vulnerabilities, hit that like button and subscribe. Why Lockheed cannot accelerate. The Structural Trap, March 2024. After Corrigan leak, 
NATO officials demand answers. Polish procurement team directly asks Lockheed Martin, can you accelerate delivery timeline? Lockheed's response, documented in procurement records, F-35 production serves 17 sovereign customers with contractual delivery commitments. Current backlog, 823 aircraft. Production rate, 156 annually. Poland's procurement would join production queue behind existing commitments. Timeline estimates reflect production capacity reality and existing customer priority. Translation, no, we cannot accelerate. Q is Q. The production reality, Fort Worth, only global F-35 line. 156 aircraft yearly for 17 plus nations. 823 aircraft backlog equals 5.3 years before new orders begin. Poland signing March 2024. Q position 824 plus. Simple math 823 divided by 156 equals 5.27 years before Polish production starts. Add 18 to 24 month build cycle. Result. 2031st delivery. Why can't they prioritize Poland? Three-tier system. Tier 1, U.S. military. Congressional mandate, non-negotiable. Tier 2, development partners, UK, Italy, Netherlands. Contractual priority from funding contributions. Tier 3, foreign military sales, Poland, end of queue. Accelerating Poland requires bumping U.S., politically impossible. Delaying partners, legally impossible or expanding production, three to five year timeline, billions in investment, Lockheed won't commit without guaranteed long-term demand. Gripen's structural advantage, Saab Linchupping, four customers, lower backlog, 24 to 30 aircraft annually, surge to 36, current committed production, 2025 to 2028, 42 aircraft, gap capacity available, Poland signing March 2024, production begins May 2024. First delivery March 2026, 24 months versus F-35's 72 months. Not Saab being faster, Lockheed being trapped by success. Too many customers, too long waits, structurally unable to accelerate. General Nowak's testimony that changed everything. March 15, 2024, Polish Parliamentary Defense Committee holds public hearing on fighter procurement. General Nowak testifies. Committee Chair, General. Does F-35 meet Polish operational requirements? No whack. In 2032, yes. In 2027, no. Because it doesn't exist yet. Gripen meets requirements in 2027. We need capability during the threat period, not after it potentially resolves or escalates beyond recovery. Chair, are you stating timeline is more important than capability? Nowak per transcript. I'm stating that capability in 2027 defends Poland. Capability in 2032 might arrive after conflict already occurred. Superior capability that arrives late fails the mission. Adequate capability that arrives on time succeeds. Then comes the moment that goes viral. Chair, what about NATO interoperability with F-35? No whack. Interoperability with allies meaningless if we cannot defend ourselves during the five-year gap. What good is perfect interoperability in 2032 if Russia tests Article 5 in 2028 and we're flying MiG-29s? No wax testimony. Military commander stating timeline matters more than capability for actual defense. Spreads across NATO within 48 hours. Romanian Defense Ministry requests video. Bulgarian Air Force Command circulates transcript. Greek procurement officials cite no wax logic in internal memos. One commander's public testimony validates what procurement officials privately believed but couldn't say. Timeline is operational requirement, not procurement preference. The Polish decision that triggered 90-day cascade, March 28, 2024. Poland announces decision after 18-month evaluation. Expected. F-35. Capability. NATO standard. U.S. relationship. Actual. 48. Saab Gripen E. Defense Minister Władysław Kozyniak Kamish's announcement references NOAC directly. Military leadership assessment concludes delivery timeline represents critical operational factor. Gripen full capability 2027 versus F-35 2032. Five-year operational advantage during threat period determined selection. First NATO country explicitly stating military commander's timeline assessment drove decision. Hour 24. March 29th, Romania releases statement. Polish military leadership's timeline-based assessment provides relevant framework for Romanian evaluation. Hour 48, March 30th, Bulgaria, 
General Nowak's testimony regarding operational timeline requirements applies equally to Bulgarian security situation. Hour 72, March 31st, Greece. Evaluating mixed fleet approach based on Polish precedent, maintaining F-35 high-end capability while adding timeline advantage platform for immediate requirements. The self-reinforcing Cascade Poland cites military commander's timeline logic. Romania cites Polish precedent. Bulgaria cites both. Greece cites all three. Each country's decision validates next country's timeline priority. Pattern becomes unstoppable. Pentagon cannot counter. Poland's decision based on military commander's professional assessment under oath. Challenging that means questioning Polish general's military judgment. Diplomatically impossible. Cannot promise acceleration. Corrigan's leaked assessment proves structurally impossible. Lockheed Martin's response, force statement, F-35 represents superior long-term capability. We respect Poland's sovereign decision. Stock drops 4.2% within 24 hours. Analysts cite timeline competitive pressure in European market. The 90-day NATO transformation. Watch the cascade unfold country by country. Day 60, May 27th. Romania, following comprehensive evaluation, prioritizing operational timeline per Polish military assessment methodology, Romania selects 24 Gripen E, IOC 2028 versus F-35, IOC 2033. Five-year advantage justifies selection, second defection explicitly citing Polish timeline logic. Day 90, June 26th, Bulgaria. Cannot wait eight years during active threat. Gripen 2029 versus F-35, 2034. General Nowak's testimony proved timeline as operational requirement. Third defection citing Nowak by name. Day 105, July 11th. Greece, the shock. Requiring 24 additional fighters beyond initial 20. F-35 order. Timeline analysis indicates Gripen delivers 2028 versus additional F-35, 2033. Mixed fleet addresses urgent timeline while maintaining F-35 capability. Even existing F-35 customer chooses Gripen for additional aircraft based on timeline. 90-day impact. Three countries select Gripen citing timeline. One existing customer adds Gripen to F-35 fleet for same reason. Combined, 96 Gripen E, $12.8 billion Pentagon expected to win. All lost because eight-year timeline can't compete with three years when countries face threats now. Pentagon's attempted counter, day 95. Defense Secretary, meeting with NATO ministers. Topic, F-35 Alliance Interoperability Standard. Romanian Defense Minister's response, leaked. Interoperability irrelevant if capability arrives after conflict potentially occurs. General Nowak stated this precisely, we agree. Pentagon standardization argument fails when countries prioritize survival over standardization. Lockheed's production, dilemma with no solution. April 2025, Lockheed Martin CEO James Takelet faces board of directors. Topic, NATO timeline defections. Board demands, can we accelerate European deliveries to stop bleeding? Takelet's response, later leaked to Wall Street Journal. Three options, all bad. Option one, maintain Q system. Continue current priority structure, except losing timeline-sensitive NATO customers. Projected loss, 28 to $35 billion over 2025, knows they cannot fix without restructuring entire production model. Politically and contractually impossible. General Nowak's testimony proves, with capability, the financial impact four countries, 96 aircraft, $12.8 billion. Corrigan proved Pentagon knows it. Nowak proved commanders prioritize it. And Lockheed Martin CEO admitted to his board. They structurally cannot compete on it without breaking the entire production model.